what we have for grandma. Kumusta naman ka? Makalingkod gali po nun. Hindi ni itin dugay. We paid grandma's credit here. Ready? Okay, so we're going to form our pastillas now, guys. Alright, guys, we're gonna try our pastillas now. Ready? Cheers! Mmm! <laughs> beautiful people good morning another day another vlog we are starting the video quite late today it's already 11 a.m i actually woke up at 5 a.m today i don't know why that's so rare it's pretty random but i went back to sleep and then i woke up at 9 <laughs> Hi, it is yet another very scorching, hot, sunny day today in the countryside, guys. Anyway, I actually read comments about my last Palawan trip and a lot of you guys were so bombarded and concerned and don't know why is MJ not wearing the right and proper attire for all the activities that we did. All right, so anyway i just want to answer that okay i know i don't have to but i just want to talk about it because some things there are things that you guys don't know all right so we've actually asked the itinerary for that and um again that trip was a collaboration with the funny lion and cebu pacific which i am super happy and grateful um to be back to puerto princesa again um so we asked them about the itinerary so there are three days it was like three days two nights for the first day it says it's chill at the resort um quick lunch and then there was a city tour and then buffet dinner so I was thinking I'm just gonna wear a dress for the entire day since it's just a chill day. Day two was Underground River and Ugong Cave. Now I know this is where the part where you guys have said, MJ, you're wearing the wrong sandals and whatever. And that's actually because I left my slippers in Ruby, okay? So I left Ruby in the airport and I actually put my hat and my slippers in a separate bag and I was not able to grab it, all right? now day three was just resort so day three that was a time where it was our last day and we were going to <laughs> the sandbar now day three was just supposed to be resort i it was not being mentioned that we're gonna go to a sandbar there's a sandbar that we can actually kayak to and swim and whatever so that's why i did not bring any bikini so i only brought one bikini which i used for our second day and that was it i did not bring anything at all i was just bringing dresses because it's good for photos and whatnot i just want to have a like chill very comfy um clothes all right but yeah um it was not really in the itinerary that there was a sandbar that we're gonna kayak and also that's why i was not able to bring another swimwear okay so i hope that clears it up and yeah anyway today um we are actually going to the city in a few but before that i'm just gonna do a little bit of laundry and also water the plants because oh my gosh it's super duper duper hot in the countryside right now
Hello people, I'm driving to the city now. I finished a bit of laundry and I also put water in my Bermuda grass because it is super duper hot. I'm also bringing a lot of laundry in the back because I would want to do it in the city since we are having scarcity of water guys. I just saw some people bringing their pump to the river so they can pump water putting it in a big barrel and then bring it to their home so that they can use it to uh, water their farm yes every March April May this is you know very common to you know have scarcity of water because this is the hottest season in the Philippines and right now I'm also craving, by the way, <laughs> for some shawarma. So that's why I just want to drive to the city today. Because if I stay at home, it's super hot. I would want to turn on air condition all the time. And that's not good because we are saving electricity. So let's just go to the city. I'm going to grab some groceries as well. And yeah, get some shawarma. I'm craving for it right now. And sis will be finishing work as well in like two hours. So at least I can have someone to ride with me going back. And she doesn't need to pay for a fare going back home because it's like 60 pesos. All right, people, let's go. Hello people, I made it to the city. I have here my shawarma, all meat chicken shawarma. It's still very hot. Bon appetit, let's eat everybody. Mmm, 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 my god, that is so yummy. I opted to have spicy as well. So it's so perfect. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Craving. Satisfied. The sauce that they use is just so good. Mmm. Oh, fudge. It's everywhere. Oh my god. I still have to get inside the grocery. By the way guys, latest chica in the Philippines. Why is everyone breaking up? <laughs> have you guys heard? First, it started with Kathniel, which shocks the entire philippines because they're like the number one love team in the philippines and they were together for like 10 11 years that is so crazy and then suddenly they broke up and then now bea alonzo oh my gosh and now catriona gray my favorite miss universe Philipp miss universe 2018 what is going on i thought 2023 was like the breakup year but 2024 oh my gosh it's only the first quarter and everyone's just breaking up. What is going on? I hate it to hear something like this, you know. Where are the most loyal boys? <laughs> guys, men, where are you guys? I don't know, like dating nowadays is just so different to how it was before. I still like the dating before though where, you know, it's a bit conservative still. But right now it's so easy to date you just go in your phone download an app get to know someone and then boom you get someone but then again it's not really for real it's just for fun 
it's so rare to it's so rare nowadays to find someone that's like genuine and real and is there for the long run anyway <laughs> i don't know why did i even talk to about this <laughs> it just popped up my mind i just actually saw an article about you know these two couple they got engaged and now they're breaking up the wedding's off like how crazy why would you even say yes if you're not ready if you're not sure that this is the person you want to spend the rest of your life with right my goodness and the reason was something to do about the prenup do you guys have that in the u.s or in europe i don't know what is your opinion about prenup guys are you okay with it or not i feel like it's not very common here in the philippines it would only apply to those people that are rich because they have money and then they want to protect their wealth so if their relationship is not successful then they have their own money but here in cebu specifically i don't hear anyone actually sign a prenup i don't know if it's real though that the prenup is the reason why this couple bea are breaking up but yeah anyway i'm just gonna eat and then we're gonna go get groceries guys Hello everybody, I'm back here with Ruby, done with grocery. I actually got quite a lot and the other box is not for me, it's for grandma. We will be visiting grandma by tomorrow morning guys, early morning. It has been a long time since I've not seen grandma actually. It's my papa's mom. I'll just message sis that I'm on my way. Hopefully, I'm not gonna get stuck in traffic. Oh my gosh, it's super duper hot. What is going on, Cebu? Right, let's go, people. Oh my gosh, good thing that I brought some like water with me, or else. Oh. We will be dehydrated and then we're gonna have bad headache which is not very good all right guys let's go pick up sis and then we're gonna drop by la hoguet market this is where we would normally get anything veggies and seafood so i'm gonna try to bring you guys inside and try to vlog inside because i know you guys are interested when it comes to our wet market here in the Philippines which is actually you guys should visit whenever you're here because that's where you can find the cheapest food all right let's go
beautiful people. Okay, we have arrived here, not at home yet, but in the countryside. We are going to visit grandma now. Actually now, <laughs> because we arrive with the sunlight still. Okay, where is grandma? Come on, Lula. Huh? Okay, we are visiting grandma, guys. I have this box right here. Tada, dito. Come on, Lula. Priyato. What? Ato na lang dito, eh. Ah, ano ni Lop? Hi. Grandma is here, guys. Ayo, ayo. Nak usah mengkadiha. Amin ke be? Oh kaila. Oh nak kaila? Wah. Oh kaila nak ku? Oh no, grandma doesn't know me anymore. Lola doesn't know me anymore, guys. Papa ni mau tahu adik tu. Si papa ku nak wes papa. She said. <laughs> pila na yung edad? Yela, pila na yung edad? Ako? Ah. 84. 84. 84 years old na si Lola, guys. Nagunsa man ka? Ha? Nagunsa ka? Ay, nagdabok. <laughs> to avoid mosquito, this is what she's doing. Nagdabok mag ko kada adlo. She said she's doing this every day to avoid mosquitoes in the house. Nakoy gasa ni mo. Nakoy gasa ni mo. Kapi ug. Oh, I didn't know Lola is actually a bit deaf now. La. So you have to like be loud in talking to her. Oi, masunog ta. Do do ah. Kayo na dito ul makika. Ay yamatun lighter. Palayo din ha do na makayo. Siya. Mana? Look, she's so near in the fire, guys. She said this is what she does. Musta naman ka? Makalain ko dali ko nun. May hindi liitindog, guys. May hindi liitindog? May hindi liitindog. Ano ni Kalipay na? Mua ni Kalipay? Oh. Ato yun ang kwaan kito yung tanong. Kalau saya mau birthday lah, kalau saya mau birthday, kalau saya mau birthday. Wah, she still remembers her birthday is June twenty one. Unsa nineteen, nineteen, unsa nineteen na? Bau lo. Eighty four. Okay, dali nak kau lihat tak di mo? Yang gak ada dah, ada beliau. Okey, ibu Scarlett is. Ia biju he, ye. Haman. Okey, saya dah belajar. Ah, ni ngan imo. Miljin Solon. What we have for grandma? Okay, put it in the box. Supposed to be. We're gonna come here tomorrow, but then we were not able to go to the wet market, guys, because there's no parking and there was a police, so we cannot even do hazard. So maybe next time. Okay, five kilogram of rice. Tada! Oh, bugas. Maiz pa? Maiz ya. Okay, grandma doesn't like the the rice. She prefers the. Di ada ni humais. Maiz. Di hatan sanas anak Merlin. Ah, oh nak kai tuyo suka. Oh, batis. Ampai kai ni dia. So I have her some condiments, um, vinegar, some soy sauce, some oil. Nao, sa ganon ni mantika. Oh, the pabuad. I gave her dry fish. Sa kung medley buwad. Ah. Kasi kag maya di mantika ang hindi ya. Oh, the pakapi. Doon ni kakapi ha. Kopi ko black o blanca. Aha, mani mo na. I don't know which one she likes. Ah, you like this? Ganang ka ni? Tuni. Ah, you like this one? Tuni, Papa. So, na ko'y milk, oh. Ay, mga tanda siya na akong tagsakabuok. Gatasad. Ah. Inam sa kagatas? Do you drink milk? Pagpapalini kaya sa una. 
<laughs> sa una na akong pagkasakit na ako, gig, o nang kuha ni gatas. Ah. Sige, magpugsok ka. Uy, nga naman. Ang bot nga ano ka ito. Ah, sige. Ano pa? Gig, kuha ko sa anak sinta. Ah. Ladoon ko sa ospital. Kaya nga naman. Butang dito ubos. Ito sa, ito sa Cebu doktor. Ah. Kaya akong iinan ako doon. Di kumuha ito doon. Ah. Kaya ako'y kwarta. Huwag mag-attendi dito na ako. Mau lagi. Oh, kanang singa ni biskit. <laughs> Og otak. Kaon ka ni? Biskuit. Muka on. Muka on jo. <laughs> oh, noodles pagyod. Ano? Na ampay kayo. <laughs> okay. Oh, mga dilata diri daghan sa di. Ay, dilata. Sardinas, tuna, corn dip, diplop. Ributang dito dong be. So this is my cousin and he's the one with grandma all the time. Okay, we have here sugar. We have asin. Asin ni dong ha, timan e. Hoy. Asin ni ha. This is salt ay kuan. Singa na to asin. <laughs> Bitsin. Og mga dilata. Ah. Oh. Ko Kuadong. <laughs> Pagkuhag sa blan. O niya, nalipay ra ka. Ay, yala. Nalipay ba ka? Nga nung nga. Nga nung di man malipay. Grandma's happy that she got now rice. Ay, no, di ko ganahan. Mais mo, ha? Oo, mais di ako. Sunod, mais. I was actually looking for the... What's this? Corn rice. But then, I could not find any corn rice, guys. Nga na na kay utang sa dito. No, oi. Oi. <laughs> so grandma has a credit. Ani taga isa citizen mo. Ah, uh, she said she has not received the senior citizen grant. So every month all senior citizen actually receives a grant from the government. I don't know how much is it. 1000 pesos, which is actually not enough, right? Per month you get 1000 pesos or 20 US dollars. But yeah, she said she hasn't received it. Pila naman kabuon wala ka kadawat? So three ma ah, every three months they release the 1,000 pesos, guys. So 3,000 pesos for three months, right? Okay, and then what she would do is she would go to the store, get a credit um, in the store. Pila mo ni mo utang dito? Okay, let's. Oh, sige, ato to tadi to. Tanaw na to makabayad ba ta? Okay, we're gonna go to the store. Huh? 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 Makan Okay, they're still calculating. Okay, Lola's credit is pila? Three mil do sitin tay odso. Three mil do sitin tay odso. Three thousand two hundred seventy-eight pesos. Oh, ayakut. That's the kuam. Okay, let's see how much money I got here. All right. Okay, five hundred lah. Five hundred lah, mana aku kuarta lah. Oi, gino aku. Allah do. Pila nama ni? Ipa aku no. Six hundred fifty lah mana lagi. Oi. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Ada apa? Six hundred fifty. Wait, six hundred seven eight nine. Eight hundred seventy. Okay. Eight hundred seventy lah tung kuarta lah. Mau alasan ya tuh bayar ha. Ay, ano. Ha? Ayaw ko. Ayaw ko. Ano yung ako bang hayi, Korta? Tawin, Gcash? Ha? 
Ah, they have Gcash. Okay, okay. We're gonna pay everything. Bayaran na lang ako sa Gcash in total. Ah, sige. We're gonna pay in Gcash lang. 3,278, guys. Put down ako bayad. Put down ako bayad. 3,278, ha? Nya ini ko ani mo si mo senior citizen nun saon man imo mong kwarta imo ihatag ko imo ihatag na ko guwa si ang citizen ihatag na lain ihatag oy oy yo o na may kinang lag sige pila to 3,278 3,278 Mana lah? Oh, three thousand two hundred seventy-eight. Mau ni day just, just Garby. Kisa day ni. Ah, James Garner. Tambah ni. Tambah nak kau ni. Ah, this is where she would also get her medicine and rice and food. Po panah humanoi. Oh, three thousand two hundred seventy-eight. We paid grandma's credit here. Mana today? Crash out na yung utang ha. Paid na today. Okay. Mana? Unya na pa kay bugas di ba? Na pa kay bugas. Mana bayad mo utang ha? Nang imuhang makuha ika senior citizen, imo na nang ipunon. Di na kambay dere. Ha? Ayaw kay kay unsa o na lang mana o tana nya nalipay ra ka nalipay nalipay ra ka uoy sige let's go success for today grandma is happy now So guys, we're back home and Scarlett's finished with school. <laughs> okay, she has a perfect score again. Let me see your perfect score. I thought you're done. Okay, where's your perfect score? No. Is that your perfect score? What, eight over eight? And then this one, seven over seven. Mm. And then ten over ten. Ten over ten. Whoa! Good job. Very good. High five. All right, guys. We are going to make pastillas for tonight because Scarlett wanted to have some pastillas. Are you ready? Pastillas. 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 Very good. Okay, I'm gonna get the scissors first. So guys, there's only three ingredients for the pastillas. First, powdered milk, white sugar, and condensed milk. All right, so I went to the city because Scarlett has been bombarding me that she wants us to have pastillas. Okay, so the measurement is one cup of, actually two cups, two cups of powdered milk. Panga, we have to make sure that we measure, ay! Okay, you put here, one cup, put everything okay next you hold it we have to put another one okay that's good put please and then we're gonna put three fourth cups of condensed milk i don't know where's the three fourth measuring cup that i have so we're gonna have to eye it okay as long as it's not full. Okay. Three fourth is there. All right. We're gonna put here. Ta da! 
Okay, can you put pour this one, please? I'm gonna get like, I'm gonna get. You hold it. You hold this one. Okay. Right. Thank you. Let's scoop it in. Make sure we got everything. All right. Now we have to mix it. Okay, mix slowly. Slowly mix everything. <laughs> Actually, the reason why that was Scarlett's first time to try pastillas when we when I got um, from Palawan, and then she could not stop telling me about it. She likes it very, very much. Okay, so pretty much this is pastillas, guys. We'll just have to mix it properly. I think it's over. No, not yet. It will dissolve. See, there's still a lot of liquid. Smells good, Panga, right? You like the smell? Yeah, it's normal because we're going to form it into circle. like a circle one yes that's why you wash your hands properly earlier right so this is our dough we're gonna form the dough later <laughs> guys this is our pastillas so this is our dough and here I have the powdered milk you guys can see and then we are going to form our pastillas now like a ball I wash my hands okay and Scarlett wash her hands thoroughly as well so we have to put the um, powdered milk so that our dough is not going to um, stick to the table okay you ready, Panga? You ready? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to form our pastillas now, guys. So, first, let's cut this. We're going to put the sugar here. And then, Panga, I'm going to give you a little one. Do like that. And then you have to roll it. Like this. Oh, it's too big. Yeah, like that, okay? Like this. And then we have to roll it here in the sugar. And then, ta-da! We have our pastillas, guys. <laughs> this is our pastillas. Okay. We have a lot to do, Panga. Mm. You can form it in a circle. You can form it a circle, but it's better like this. Pagnasan na. Ano pongo? Right, guys, we're gonna try our pastillas now. Ready? Cheers! Mmm. Can I have one bite? You like it? <laughs> you like it, Panga? <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. It's not violet because we don't have ube, man. So, we're gonna make like this and you're gonna sell it in your school, okay? <laughs> so you will have some money. You want? Yeah, one peso. Come see. <laughs> Peace. 